Alright guys, this is Coe Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com Today I'm going to flash a 360 drive that's a 93450C DVD drive You're going to need to cut some traces, solder in some jumpers, a little resistor, dump the drive Undo all the work you did fix all your traces, put it back together, and then move it over to flash it with Jungle Flasher. We're going to be dumping it with DOS Flash. I got Silent J here helping me with the camera because we're going to be moving back and forth on this one a little bit. Alright, so the first thing you get your DVD drive out. You take your DVD drive apart. I've already got most of the screws out just for the sake of time. You get to your green board inside. Once you get into here, you've got to get this out. Now, you also want to take these little ribbon cables out. They come out by gently pulling on both sides away from the plug. It just pops right out and the little ribbon cable will come out once it's loose and all three of them work that way you need to be careful with these little plugs or you'll break them this one can be a little tricky and once you get all your soldering done you've got to put it all back together and hook it up before you dump it take these two little screws out down here I always leave the power cables and this stuff soldered up. I don't unsolder them, but I too, do take them out of their little clamp so it'll roll over a little better. There's a little catch right there you need to release. And then you get the board out. Once you have the board out, I just use a little Swiss Army knife to scrape the green off of the copper traces you've got you need to uh, scrape you a little clean spot right here and it it just don't take much to scrape that off but you want a nice shiny copper so the solder will bond to it real good just like that then there's some other traces you have to do. We'll show you those in just a second. And that, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on over to another board that I have done that's a little further along. And actually, on this board here, this is the ground. Here's our 22 ohm resistor you need. It's a little quarter watt 22 ohm resistor. You can tell that by the bands. There's a red, a red, and a black band. There's the little ground that I scratched off of the other board. We'll try to show you in more detail where the cuts are on here. And if after we look at it, it don't look clear, we'll put some better pictures, just pictures up underneath the video. Now on this board, I have one more trace to cut, which is right here. And I have one more wire to solder which is goes right there and I'm gonna go on and do that now I just use a little Dremel to cut the trace and you've got to be easy with this guys You want to make sure I'm going to pull a light down in front of me so I can really get a good look at it. You want to make sure that you get your cut all the way through. Okay, that looks good. And just bear with me a minute. And then you need to make sure to get your wire soldered on.
right, now that I have that, what we're going to try to do is show you what this thing looks like under here. We think it's going to do all right. This is the wire I just soldered on. I just cut this trace right here, and I cut it all the way through, which we have to fix all these cuts. Then on this trace that's underneath the letters and numbers, there's two cuts. You want to isolate this little pad that this white wire is on. You want to cut it on this side of it and a cut on this side. And you loop around and that goes to your resistor. And this is the board when it's finished. Alright, now it's ready to dump. And what we have to do is take this and get it back in the DVD drive and all hooked back up in a way to where it won't short when we power it up and we'll be back in just a second with that okay guys we're quick back from a quick pause and what we've done is we've put the drive back in the DVD we've got the three ribbon cables are reattached now the wire that comes from the middle from the little tab we had to isolate this one right in the middle that one actually goes out and hooks up to the resistor on the end. What I've did here is just twisted the wire together and crimped it with a little non-conductive little mini clothespin just to make sure it makes good connection. Once we get to here, I'm using a regular CK3 Pro, which the only thing you're using this for is to power the drive. That's it. You don't need to open it. You don't need to probe. You don't need any of that. I'm going to power on the drive, so now it's powered up. You can see I have this little thin piece of plastic between the green board and the drive. You don't want to be shorting anything out. You really need to take care when you get to this. Now what I've done is I've went to X-Bins, and I've got DOS Flash, and we're going to use DOS Flash 32, and all we're going to do is dump this drive. You can see it's disabling the CD DVD drives that's in there in this PC. I've got it set on the right port that this drive's hooked to. So now when it's popped up, it's on the right port and it's already grabbed. It sees the Xbox DVD drive right here. This MXIC, this stuff lets you know and I know my port. I know exactly what port I'm on. Once you get here and your flash chip properties have popped up, then you want to undo your little clip down here and actually just real easy and undo this wire to where they're not touching one another. Once you get them separated like that, now we go back to DOS flash and at this point we're going to click read flash and then we want to name the file and where to save it and we're just going to name this 111 and click save and now it's reading your banks reading bank one two three and four once it gets done and it's dumped it we can click OK and yes, I want to enable my drives. When we get back out of here, what we want to do real quick is open up Jungle Flasher. And we just want to check that dump and make sure the key in there looks good before we put all this back together. What we've got to do, we want to use Jungle Flasher and open source firmware and we'll just navigate to that 111 file. And then, of course, no right now. We've got a good key. It all looks good. It's listing that it is the right drive, a 93450C, 0C. It's stock firmware. So this is a good drive. So at this point, or good dump. At this point, we're finished with this drive. Now what you have to do right now is take this drive, power everything off, get it all that you've done you have to undo you've got to take all the little jumpers off the resistor off 
you have to fix, repair all of those cut solder joints you cut in all those places on the green board. You, can't, you don't need to just bridge a piece of solder across those solder joints. You need, I use the same kind of little wire that I'm making these jumpers with to repair those cut traces. Once you get to that point, we undo this one, you fix everything and you put it right back together just like it stock. And when you get there, you end up with a DVD drive that's put back together that's ready to be flashed. So what I'm going to do is go on and hook some power up to this drive. And now I'm going to use Jungle Flasher to build the hack firmware and to flash the drive. I'm going to go on and power the drive on. Now I'm going to come up here to Jungle Flasher. Right now I just want to take a second to say thanks to everybody that made this possible for us. The firmware, the tools we're all using, DOS Flash, Jungle Flasher, the firmware, the sponsor of X-Bins, all you guys. It's awesome. Keep up the great work. We all appreciate it out here immensely. All right, once you get Jungle Flasher started up, you want to open your source, which is, is a different one. You want to open your source firmware. I click no. I want to manually load in my firmware. I open target firmware, which that is going to be our light on iExtreme LT11 for the 93. You see all your sevens, your blank key there. You click spoof source to target. Our keys match, save to file. I want to just save that in there. Now at this point, I move on to the flash. I want to send the light on erase command. I know I'm on my right port here. You want to make sure you're on your right port. All this is set up. It's been done. It's showing you your properties that it's a 9345. So I, I know I have a good dump. I've already checked it. I click my light on erase. It asks, are you sure? You click yes. At this point, when you click yes, it tells you after you click yes you power off the drive and then back on really quickly within just a second or so and you should get a status 72 and do you want to proceed I click yes off on and we should see a status 72 there's our status 72 once we get that we want to write it's erasing, erasing the chip now real quick. Now it's writing. It'll write all four banks. And then it just does a check, a verification on it. The write's okay. Now at this point, you want to click your out ATA reset. And it's a light on drive. It's been released. And at this point, you power down and put it back in the console and test it out. And that's it, guys. Again, appreciate it to everybody. This is Co-Free and Silent J at RobinHoodsPlayground.com.